I had recently spawned a new world in single player Minecraft. Everything was so normal at first as I began chopping down trees and crafting a workbench. I noticed something moving amongst the, den the dense fog. I have a very slow computer so I have to play at a tiny random distance. I thought it was a cow so I pursued it, hoping to grab some hides for armor. It wasn't a cow though, looking back at me was another character with the default skin but his eyes were empty. I saw a no-name pop up and I double-checked to make sure I was in the multiplayer mode. He didn't stay long. He looked at me and quickly ran into the fog. I pursued out of curiosity, but he was gone. I continued on with the game, not sure what to think as I expanded to a uh, world. I saw things that seemed out of place from the random map journey to make. Two by two, two, by two tunnels in the rocks, small perfect pyramids may have stayed in the ocean and groves of trees with all their leaves cut off. I would constantly think I saw the other player in the deep fog, but I never got a better look at him. I tried increasing my render distance to far whenever I thought I saw him, but no avail. I saved the map and went on the forum to see if anyone else had found the procedural player. There were none. I created my own topic, telling of the man and asked if anyone had a similar experience. The post was deleted within five minutes. I tried again and the topic was deleted even faster. I received a PM from the username Herobrine containing one word to stop. When I went to look at Herobrine's profile of the page 404, I received an email, an email from another forum user. He claimed the mods can read the forum user messages. So they first saved for email, using email. The email claimed claim that he had seen the mystery, mystery player too, and had a small directory of other users who had seen him as well. There are worlds with layer with obviously man-made features as well, and described the mystery player having no pupils. About a month passed until I heard from my informant again. Some of the other people who had encountered the mysterious man had looked into the name Herobrine, found that name to be frequently used by a Swedish gamer. After some further information gathering, it was revealed to be a brother of Notch, the game's developer. I personally emailed Notch and asked him if he had a brother. It took him a while, but he emailed, he emailed me back a very short message. I did, but he is no longer with us. Notch. I haven't seen the mystery man since our first encounter, and I haven't noticed any changes to the world other than my own. I wasn't able to press print screen when I, saw it, when I first saw him. Here's the only evidence of his existence.